chapter 28 and verse 15. But because you have said, we have made a covenant with death. The Lord said that the pastors, the people that's supposed to lead our people, they made a covenant with death. Do you know what it's talking about when it's talking about that death? Get that for me. Hold that. Maybe Romans 6, 23. It's heavy, bro. I, I didn't know that. I didn't know you was a preacher kid. You know why that's so heavy? Because the more you will learn, the more you will see your father wasn't rolling in the right doctrine. You know what I mean? Remember, didn't you bring it out earlier how we was going to get taught another spirit? This is the spirit that the Bible is talking about. Because not only do you get this false image, you get a false doctrine. You get a false sense of how to follow the Bible. And more importantly, you get a false guy. Right? Read that. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. This is the death that our people, our preachers, are in agreement. Right? Read that. For the wages of sin is death. It is death. Go ahead. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So the Lord is telling us, give me that Isaiah back that's 28. So now the Lord is telling us what, bro? That these preachers are in agreement with sin, right? Tell me some of the ways a preacher is in agreement with sin when you deal with Christianity. If you mind, expound. Uh, I mean, I really want to know. I don't really know how to expound on it. Okay. I don't believe. I do believe that they try to get, they try to put fear in people to cause them to serve what they want them to serve. You know, okay. whether it be towards the church or towards, towards God. Gotcha. Okay, so now, I'm glad you said that because you said they try to put fear in people, right? Yeah. But what develops the fear? What is... What are the steps to, to, to fear? Well, lie. You know, tell a lie. Okay. Reading the scripture and then telling them that the scripture means this mm -hmm. and it don't mean that. Okay. But if a person not reading them, reading scriptures themselves, it causes them to believe what they hear. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna show you an, I'm gonna show you a way. Preachers are in agreement with sin. What I mean by that. Okay. And I and I try not to put everybody under the same umbrella, but it's hard not to. Because we do this and we go all around the world, right? And one way or the other, the same doctrine come before us. Every time, right? Give me Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. All right? That's what I want. Get that. So let me ask you this, right? I see you got a nice haircut. But uh, what did the Lord say about, like, saving our faith? Right. Do, do preachers teach that, though? Uh, they don't teach it. Definitely not. Most preachers I've seen, they got what? Nice, clean, bald head, gold teeth, clean to the... They're not rocking the uh, the cobra sack. They got the milk done. Right? <laughs> Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Read it out. They shall not make boldness upon their head. So now we know no bald face. You have a cold face. Right? You can have it close on the side like you got it. But no bald. Right, read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So of course, no, sh no shaving the corners of your beard. The corners is dealing with what make it a beard. Right, read. Yeah. Nor make any cuttings in the flesh. Uh-huh. What's that talking about? Tattoos. 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 Churches don't teach against that. People go and get the biggest cross, the biggest uh, prayer hands that they can find. Right. Whatever can fit on their back. And they might even quote a verse with it. But that show you the hypocrisy that our people get taught. Remember, the Bible said this about our people. So don't get it twisted. Give me uh, Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. Don't get it twisted. We understand that a lot of our people have not been taught correctly. Right. But once you've been taught correctly, you're supposed to change. Like, I'm going to give you an example. Like the, uh, the part you got in your head, right? According to the Bible, a strong Israelite man like yourself don't supposed to do that, right? Not because God just want to be mean or he want to just put all these rules on you. He's doing it for a reason. I'm going to show you why. Read that first though. Romans chapter 10 and verse 1. Read it out. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Now you notice Paul, uh, apostle to the Gentiles, let you know that his prayer is for Israel because that's another false doctrine that get taught in the churches behind this spirit. 
that the so-called black, Native American, and Hispanic are not the chosen people of God, and that everybody is accepted by Christ. But the Bible don't say that. Read. For I bear the record. Now watch what Paul acknowledges about us, right? Read. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of God. He said our people had a zeal of God. They want to serve God, but guess where they err at? Read. But not according to knowledge. Not according to the knowledge of God. A lot of our people want to represent God. Right. They say that they believe God, right. but they do not do so according to the knowledge of God, right? right. That's right. So what is the knowledge of God? Uh, what you're talking about here. Okay, okay. Uh, basically that learning from the Bible of, of what you need to do. Okay, the instructions, right? Right, right, right. instructions. Uh, so if, if I had to nail that down to one word, what would I say? You got it? Okay, read that. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Now you notice the Lord said the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Then you know that our people and our priests, what? They're not keeping, They're not keeping it. That's why the Lord said they should keep knowledge, right? Read. And they should see the law at his mouth. So now, what is the knowledge that we don't have? Oh. The law. The law. The law. Why? Because if I just teach the faith doctrine, believe, 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 but it's nothing behind it, it's all for naught. Right. right? If I don't have, I'm going to show you what the Bible is good for, bro. And this is where a lot of our people err. You know what I'm saying? Give me 2 Timothy 3 and 16. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 16. Because one thing about it, Israel, is that we have to wake up and come back to God's commandments. A lot of our people think we come out here and we just do this so we can, I don't know, relieve stress. <laughs> we can just yell at our people. We come out here because we love our people. Bro. We got to recover the remnant. It's, I don't know about you, bro. I think... I. You standing before me, looking in your eyes, I think you, you see something that ain't right. For you being a preacher's kid and saying, you know what, that makes sense. Yeah. Not what I've been taught for 20 some odd, 30 years, this makes sense. Really? That's why a lot of our people don't believe the Bible, because right. it don't speak to them. Right. It don't hit them in the spirit. Right. That's why they offer to philosophies, right? right? Uh, doctrines of uh, conspiracy theories because our people ain't heard the true understanding of God. Right. See what I'm saying? Read that. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. It's profitable for a way to live your life. All scripture. What do the Old Testament say when it comes to um... I'm going to ask you I'm gonna ask you a question. Hold that. Give me Leviticus 11. Now, he said that it's profitable for doctrine, profitable for how to live, right? I'm going to ask you a question. Get that for me. And I, and I want to see, do the Christian church agree with this? Do they teach this, right? Because he said all scripture, right? Read that. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hook and be common footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So what does that what is that going into? What does that basically let us know? Not to eat. Not to eat swine. Not to eat swine, which is what? The pig. Yeah, yeah. But what does a preacher say? Don't grow about, man. Don't grow about. Matter of fact, we got some downstairs, twelve dollars for a la carte, twenty dollars for the meal. Right. Right? Right? They actually serve abominations after teaching false doctrine. Right. That's right. That's pure folly. That's Think right. about that. I'm going to teach lies, I'm going to teach white Christ, I'm going to teach lawlessness, right. I'm going to teach uh, disbelief, right, but no actions behind it. And on top of that, I'm going to kick you up out the door with an abomination plate to go with. Right. Right. Think about that, bro. That's what we mean when we say that a lot of our people, they're in the grids with sin. Bring it on. But remember, we read earlier that what? Our people had a zeal of God, but not according to, not according to knowledge. So a lot of our people want to serve God, but they don't know how to do it according to the Bible. That's right. And that's what we are here to do. We, we're not out here to go and back and forth with people. Right. We're out here to give you the understanding. That's right. right. You see what I'm saying? Because let me ask you this. Let's say 
a man got all the zeal in the world. He loves his people. If he eating pork, shrimp, lobster, crab, cutting his hair bald, can he get the good? Can he get the true understanding of the Bible? Yeah, of course, man. You feel like he can? Yeah, he just not living. Okay, so you say he can get the true understanding of the Bible, but he just not living it. Yeah. Okay, so basically. He can eat pork, got gotcha. but he can get the true understanding. Yeah. Let me show you something. Get Psalm one eleven and ten. Read that. Psalms chapter one eleven and verse ten. Read it up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's like the starting point, right? You know, in Monopoly, you got your little car, you got your dog, and you're waiting to get the dice, right? Keep it going, right? That's where you at when you got the fear of the Lord. Right? Read. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. No, that read it. That do his commandments. No, that hear it. That do his commandments. No, that have a good pastor or a good teacher. That do his commandments. Read. His praise endures forever. See that? So the Lord said everything that we say, everything that we teach, we're able to back up with the Bible. Right. So we right. just read there that he's not going to even have a good understanding. Because right. a hypocrite know what to do and right. don't do it. That's right. The average Christian, average pastor, he said, no, long as we pray over it, teach. we can eat whatever the hell we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they have done to our people. They put us in mental and physical bondage and they in agreement with oppression. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.